What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we are back with some more FR Legends. It's time to dive into some more of the racing action. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, give it the sleepy eye treatment. Yes, back into the Miata. So we figured out what kind of color palette that we will be working on for this car. Obviously, we still got to work on the car. But we're slowly but surely working on it. Now, this would be more... I'm not going to make it into much of a drift car. Yes, we can drift in this thing, but we're not really going to be doing so much drifting as we will be doing more time attack with this car. So, just a quick take a look at the engine. It has the J in it. We could have done the BP, but honestly, the J starts off with all, well, double, more than double the horsepower, nearly triple the horsepower and we already had that engine in here so we got that revs up really nice and we've been slowly but surely upgrading the engine and the turbo in order to get it to where we need to get it to of course the turbo kit we haven't really done much to but we can here shortly in fact i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the intercooler might as well and then we're going to do some other upgrades to this in a little bit. But we are going to send it drifting. So let's dive into some of the battles. And we're going to go into more of the technical courses. We're not going to do so much of the um, like Hiroshima. Hiroshima is very technical. We could do the roller coaster of love. But I feel like there's a lot of spots where it's high, uh, high speeds. So let's go to U.S. Air Motorsports Raceway Intermediate Course. So you do have to be kind of careful. All right, holding it pretty nice. Not following the line that well, but honestly, there we go. Oh, look at the finish. That was a really good finish. I'm surprised at that. Try not to get too close, because I'm expecting him to like break a lot. I'm expecting him to break quite often, like right here. I expected him to break, but he didn't. So, but wow, look at the run there! Whoo! Look at the points! Wow, we murdered it! All right, let's take a look at this run here. I see a decent start, almost straightened up there, but I had to sort of back off a bit. I feel like in the chase runs, the AI doesn't have a whole lot of confidence, especially when the other driver has more horsepower. And even if they don't, you know, Like, I still had to back off quite a bit just because I'm not too sure. Because I've only done this course maybe a couple times. And I wanted to make sure that um, when I did drive this course, that I gave the other driver the, the space, you know. Because, you know, you're not familiar with a course and you're doing tandem drifts. You don't want to be all over a guy until you understand the course, until you understand the other opponent. That way. You don't end up making contact. You don't mess up your car and their car, so. Managed to hold it fairly well, so. Honestly, the chase run, very good. Majority of the time, I actually had decent proximity, especially right in here. Beautiful close proximity there. Made a little bit of contact in the transition, but and then I backed off, gave him plenty of room. So honestly, a really good run through and through. Let's dive into some more. 
I just want to go back to Hiroshima because I'm like, I understand it a little bit better. Oh, especially when we're going up against a Hachiroku. Send it. Beautiful send. Beautiful send to start things off. Throttle out. Oh, that was beautiful. Super smooth, super close. Nice tap on the cone. And beautiful send right to the finish. Honestly, my best salute run at Hiroshima. I, I think I timed everything to perfection. Man. Back off a little bit, send it nice and early. Ah, uh, didn't have the brakes there. Ooh, got in front. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take his lead. Oh, that's not good. That's gonna hurt our run. Taking his lead. Taking his lead will hurt our run. Yeah, especially with all that contact that I made. Yeah, we lost it. We lost it because of that. Uh, I got too hasty. Ooh, we go to go up against hurt. Let's go. Hurt, my guy. Let's go. Oh, beautiful near reverse entry. Go from one Mazda to another. Oh my goodness. I don't know where that reverse part came in, but I almost went way off course there. So I am under power compared to Hertz car. Ooh, went way too wide there. So now I gotta try and catch up. Oh no, I made contact with the inner wall. Whoa, I didn't know. I wasn't trying to make contact, but I kinda got lost in the smoke there. That's the only thing about Hiroshima I don't like. When you're on that downward slope and you can't see because of the smoke. And I think that killed my run. It did. Ah, uh, 0 for 2 today at Hiroshima. What's wrong with me, man? I thought I was going to beast this first try, but apparently not. Oh, there we go. That's the entry. Give it. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was hard. That was harsh. Oh, no. That was very harsh. That was very bad. Oh, no. That's not good. You know, we're trying this again. I'm I'm not giving up until until I get it. At least once. Too too much angle and then I try, I was being kind of hasty. Right there, I could have had more angle, but it's fine. More angle, probably less speed going into it. There we go. I backed off a little too much, but... There we go. Oh, no. I was trying not to kind of contact with him. I made harsh contact with them. Honestly, that was a better chase run. Could have done better if I hadn't hit the car, but we still got the win. Let's take a look here. Good entry point, good early entry, and then just let it do a sort of slow rotate. That way the car can like build up. Left wheel looks like it's trying to come up off the ground a little bit. Surprised he didn't make contact there. Going down the hill, maintaining angle, deep angle, shallow it up a little bit. There we go. And then deepen it back up to clear that cone. There we go. And a nice deep angle all the way around. Honestly, not bad. Could have been better, in my opinion, but 
this chase run. Now I did have to break some, and that messed me up as I was going back down because it allowed him to gain distance from me. And then I caught back up right there, and I thought I would lift and then bring it back on throttle, but still made contact, so honestly, could have done a bit better. Really tight around that cone and just throttle it out, maybe even got closer there, so that was good. Honestly, not bad. Honestly, not bad. All right, let's do a toge run. Let's do Gunsai short. Now, all the records I set here, I set with the Mazda RX-7, so trying something different. So I do have to be careful here. Ooh, Jesus. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, way wide. I I'm trying to learn how to be confident in my accelerations and my decelerations. My apexes. I have to be picky about my lines too. Oh, that ghost is right on my tail. Honestly, really good run. Three star run. Not a record though. Not a record. I was close, but not close enough. So let's take a look at this run. Riding the edges a bit, got close to the wall, or the guardrail. Managed to keep two tires on the road, so didn't catch a uh, penalty there. You only catch a penalty if you manage to get all four tires off. So you can ride the edges as tight as you want, just as long as you keep two tires. Or probably even just one, let's see. Because I think I dipped one tire. Ooh, I was close. And I have to back off there. Honestly, a really good run. Let's take this from the cockpit view. Get the right off the wall too. Honestly, one of my best toge runs. All right, let's do something I haven't done in a while. Taking the R32, I'm gonna take it to Irwindale. Irwindale's pretty tough because you have to be on point, especially if you're in the lead run. It's hard to not lean on that wall to begin with, but if you don't do it too rough, you can really benefit from it, oh, especially leaning this inner wall and then getting to this inner clip. Very nice. Honestly, it's probably the first time that I managed to hit all the clipping points. And I rode that wall, as you can tell by the rear end damage. I rode the wall. Come on. Now I initiated before he did. Which is, ooh, ooh, hold on. The, and again, this is the hard part. Maintaining proximity in these long corners. But if you do it just right, oh, you can, Definitely capitalize. Honestly, I think that was my best lead and chase that I've done at Irwindale. 
Let's take a look at it. Starting off with an early initiation. Did that in my lead and my chase run. Oh, nice. Riding the wall, very nice. And actually managing to transition smoothly, even though I did hit that clipping point, which is sitting right there. And then right here, a little bit harder when I, ro when I rode that one, but still managed to ride it without taking too much off. So, really good lead. And then the chase run I initiated sooner. He was able to step out on me, and then I just reeled him back in really quick. I had to lift and give more angle so I can stay away from the wall, stay away from him, get back on throttle. Ooh, get closer, get closer. Yes. And that's the beauty about drifting. You looks like you're out of control. Like there, it looked like I was about to spin out. I wasn't. I was totally in control. It's just that delicate dance, that delicate balance of being out of control and yet being in con totally in control. And then a little contact right, right at the end. Just say hi, how you doing? Our interior view, let's go. Oh, just hold on to it. Contact there with the wall. Very good run. Ooh, got very close. Got very close. Deep into the smoke, transitioning. In real life, if you got caught up in this kind of smoke, you definitely would not know where you were going. Even in the game, it's very hard to see through all that smoke. Honestly, really good run. I enjoyed that one. I very much enjoyed that one. All right, let's take the RX-7. Let's do one more good battle. Let's go for Ebisu. Could never go wrong with Ebisu. Ah, uh, until you do that. Then, then that's where you went wrong. Ooh, now this is a battle. Two RX-7s, myself against Hurt. One more time, let's go. Oh, that, that intro slide, yes, let's go. Ooh, he had me pretty close in that chase, in his chase run. He had me very close in his chase run. Now if I can do the same thing to him. Oh, rear end. Jesus. I had to back off. I had to back off. I was getting too close. I was getting too shallow. My line honestly isn't very clean here. My line was not very clean, but towards the end, it cleaned up a lot. So, honestly, very proud with that run. Very proud with that run. You, I could not be mad at myself for that run. All right, quick glance. Very early initiation there. Full hang time jump drift. Oh, that was beautiful. See, he hung it out wider than I did. Didn't even touch the wall. And then I shallowed up, but then I had to deepen back up. Dip my rear tires offline there, but still managed to hit the clipping points. It looked like he got ahead of me right there. May contact. Heavy contact. Felt bad for the Torque Stallion there. Mm -hmm. 
That was very good. Into the chase run we go. We won't do cop hit view this time. But. Ooh. Giving Hurt a good run for his money. My right rear tire didn't come up off the ground. Just the rest of my tire did. And then the a uh, the bit of a hard bounce. Oh, look how he got so quick. This guy is very consistent with his uh, driving lines. Oh, he is very consistent with his drift lines. But honestly, some of the best lines in the business. I don't think anyone does lines better than Hurt. I think the only person that does lines better is uh, Tony Montana. Anyways, um, so that'll wrap it up. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Sorry, it hurt if you if you listening to this. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm I'm just talking out of my ass. Honestly, it was just a joke. But um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that was honestly terrible. Uh, let's see, what wheel should I go for? I definitely said I was gonna do the floral, so have that one. Very nice, but uh, no, we are gonna get rid of that wheel. I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that wheel. Oh well. I did the shifter, need the handbrake, which would be this one. And then harnesses, definitely need those. Too much for those. So, got those. I got the cage, can't get the gauge. Seat steering wheel speedo. Everything seems fine. Yep. Yeah, we're good. So that's the inside done. As far as the outside, really isn't much. No. To get a whole set of wheels, it's going to cost a bit. Of course, we could always switch with one of the other cars, but I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to find a really nice set of I'm trying to see if they have that wheel style, but I don't think they do. Oh, I think these are it. Something close to it. Take a look, see. Because I'll either want those. I don't want these. <laughs> these are the hurt rims right here. But yeah, no, I don't want those. I, I kind of want something with a deep dish, though. I do want something with a deep dish. I don't want no Kansei. Maybe these. I'm trying to see if they have anything. Well, these are ugly. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want these. Oh, that's going to cost me a pretty good amount for those. No. Hell no. No. Maybe. Oh my god, they are wide boy. Yo, they are wide boy. Jesus. Jesus, look how wide they are. Oh my gosh, man. I really have to bring in the fitment. Oh my god, that's too wide. I mean, I, I like a wider tire, don't get me wrong. It's just... Jesus. No, not these, man. The, those are too wide. Oh, those are the deep dishes. I don't think I want those. Try these. No. These are also very ugly. I don't want those. 
Hmm. Maybe. No. Let's see. Maybe these. They have a really decent selection of colors. It's just finding the ones that I like. And I definitely go for the mediums. I don't want to go for the larges because the larges are, oh my God, look at, oh my goodness. I mean, I could, but damn, man, as, as fat, <laughs> that, that is F -A P H A T, man. Honestly, these don't look that bad. I just wish they had them in a completely different color. Or can't we change the color? Oh. What's a good one that I could probably pick? Uh, see, those are stock wheels. Probably from like the IS2. Honestly, I probably would get these. And then I can't find the whites. They don't even have that color, man. What? How do you not have all white? Come on, man. Honestly, that's disappointing. But you have it in these. Honestly, these don't look that bad. It's a multi-piece, so. You know what? We can go with these. I just got to save up 36 more gold, but yeah. Yeah, we can go with those. All right, at least we know now know what wheels we're going to go for. Though for now, I think I'm going to put on the these wheels from the R32 on here. Just because they look better. Oh, Jesus, I'm not trying to do that right now. All right. That'll wrap it up for this episode of FR. Well, not quite. I'm just thinking, oh, what now? What do you have to do now? Well, first off, I said I wouldn't do it, but we're doing it. I said we wouldn't do it, but we're going to do it. Just because we're doing everything else. Uh, where is headlight? Headlight. Headlight. Okay. And then uh, as far as paint. Nose. How much for body though? Normal, matte, gloss. Oh, Jesus. That's going to cost way too much for gloss. Way more than I want it to be. Ah, well. Actually, it doesn't cost that much. You know, let's do something here. Might as well. All right. So yeah, let's let's go for. Oh, see so that gloss doesn't look all that great. Let's just do normal. I spent the gold. I know. I know. Yep. We'll keep the white cage for now. As far as the engine hoses, we will paint them. Not too sure what we'll paint them. 
I know people are going to be looking at me like, why the hell are you doing this? Because I want to. But we'll get that eventually. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap it up for this episode of FR Legends. Tune in next time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Warner Brother. Much love, much appreciation. Also, check out my wife's channel at the AJ Files, AJ A Y Files, all capitalized. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.